This is about video about me ranting. Because I am a little peeved at Samsung. It's not like I'm gonna go to Apple. Apple has their issues too, let's face it. But Samsung's what I've been stuck with for years now. I can't seem to record my screen, have the face cam running, and play my game at the same time. And what I've been thinking about is recently is having someone join me at it. Uh so can my tablet handle that? Probably not. Probably not 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 Let's face it. Heck. The thing heats up, the, my tablet heats up like my damn S6. Which exploded and caught fire. Except this one doesn't tend to explode and catch fire because I'm filming with it. Heck, I can't film with this because this has some sort of weird damn video file. I had you plugged in. Kiss my ass. Oh, fuck off. Is the brick dead? Or dead. Remember, it's plugged in. I mean, battery didn't leak. Oh, hey, here's an old hack. Rub the fuck out of your battery in order to get a couple seconds of time. Basically heat it up. Without flame. Rub it against my knee. Hold on. Wow. You know what? Watch this. It's something to do with my fucking eight foot cord. Fuck. Because. Plug it in here. It's not doing anything. Plug it in here. You shit me, my brick is dead. I just took a picture because I'm using a damn controller. I did a couple of gaming videos and whatnot. But no, seriously, what the hell, Samsung? Your OS is just mmm needs a bit of configuring. Plus, I do even have Power Saver on, by the way. Just. To keep this thing running for like 10 minutes. I mean, I know I'm putting a lot of work into a three year old tablet, but I expected better considering I could do more with an S6. Granted, it would heat up a hell of a lot more.
Looks like I had the Exynos, not the Snapdragon, though. There's an alarm on here. But seriously, you fucking misspelled mute. You misspelled the equalizer. That's not it, because my SD card's not inserted. You cannot run it without a battery, but it would run for like half a second more on just charger. Because some sort of built in cutout, my guess. By the way, this was sitting on a shelf for a couple of years and then given to me because I broke my old phone. And then it got an even older phone. Ironic, right? I wonder, can I get an even older phone? Probably. I mean, I've had older. Heck, I had a phone before the company Nokia was even founded. My dad gave it to me from an antique store. I have no clue what the hell happened to that. It was a brick that was heavy, but not even as heavy. I mean, people think, oh, the old brick phones are heavy, right? The phone in your pocket's probably heavier. I did. A, I had a scale called my hand. I took the brick phone, and then I took my Note 8, and my mom's Note 8. The Note 8 was heavier. That tiny compact thing in your pocket is heavier than a giant brick. What? And I can understand that, but here's another thing phones need to do better, mainstream phones. Cooling. Like, the Note 7, yeah, I don't flip and trust that one bit. I really like the look of the phone, but I just, nah, not into it. Considering uh, my S6, by the way, there was never a Note 6. They skipped it to have a disaster. You motherfucker, I am going to kill you. Sorry, stupid insect. Anyway, um, it's just my. Just, they skipped it to an disaster, and then the Note 8 came out. Whoop de doo. Yay, new technology. But my mom has it. It's a long lasting phone. I mean, the S6 lasted a while. I got it used from a friend. But I only had it three months before the screen melted off and then eventually caught fire. The fire wasn't too much, surprisingly. I think it was a circuit board that exploded. Overheating issue? <laughs> wow. Heck, uh... I think I whacked it with a mirror, the screen broke, and it started melting off and stuff. Or whatever. And then it caught fire. I broke the screen and it caught fire. The thing is, is actually... <coughs> more or less an accident. Because it burned my hand. And I thought, ow! And I threw it at it and broke the screen. And this thing melted off. The adhesive heated up so much that I used the phone, the phone itself, to take the phone apart. It's like, the, the phone heated up so much the screen fell out. That doesn't usually happen! I plugged it in because it was dying, I didn't really, I didn't have any apps running, I turned it all off. I did have a virus on it, not sure where it came from. I got rid of it with an app that put a different virus on it. I never factory reset the thing. I just took it, started using it. And it just, no. <laughs> and the funny thing is, it was a day directly after the school year ended, so I had no nothing to contact except for this 
big laptop. And throughout the entire summer and a good chunk of the school year this year, I had no phone. I carried around an eight pound laptop everywhere I went. Just to listen to my music. And then and then my friend uh Hannah decided to give me two flip phones to destroy. I'm like, hell no, I'm using them. I don't even got no phone. <laughs> so I use them for a while and then I got a uh, gr Grand Prime 2014 from Blake. He, go figure. Uh, I had that for a little while, but in the meantime, I gave, because the flip phones I mainly just use as an MP3 player because you could do nothing else with them. Heck, I even had a Bluetooth uh, ear set. Uh, my grandpa bought me one uh, pair. Lasted like a week before the cord got jacked up. And then I threw it out, not even wanting to deal with it. Because they were so bass heavy. It was like back in uh, seventh grade when I first had a pair of these except these ain't it it's the pair the pair were probably modified in some way they're still out there in the world by the way in some drug addict's house somehow they ended up there okay I never got them back Th that pair I got brand new uh, but those ones were also surprisingly bass heavy. Now, when I wear these, they feel like muddy crap. And at the time, I praised Samsung for, hey, they made actually good headphones. And then, these came out. The AKGs blew these out the water. Heck, I even remember watching Mr. Beast, uh, ha Beast Hacks. He's saying, oh, terrible headphones. Oh, no, they're not. My pair was pretty good. Now I can see why, because usually the pairs I got were odd. And the pair I had were modified in some way I'm not sure I guess I got lucky these sound better have more bass and apparently the white ones of those the newer ones have even more bass hmm someone explain that thing is this ain't even Samsung's these are AKG's an AKG headphones are flipping expensive. Technically, this is a piece of two parts of two pairs that I found on the floor. Well, one I technically took from a friend, but whatever. And that's mainly what this is. The symbols I found on a pair of jacked up earbuds with a really messed up cord on the floor. So they were labelless with the jacked up cord, and I gave them to my friend Alexis. And they sounded better than these. <laughs> they, were, they had a lot more bass in them, surprisingly. So my guess is, uh. Yeah, now I think about it, it's probably, uh. In the equality in, uh. Headphones from Samsung. Okay, now I'm bored and I hit the limit. I have a bunch of videos to upload and a bunch of things to do. So, see ya.